Hey guys, Olven here and welcome back to my channel or should I say my second channel. So guys, when I started off with this YouTube channel, you would remember that I said that I'm going to use this as also a style of documenting my healing, my healing journey, rehabilitation, uh, just because I have this, this inner witness in me that the time is near that God is going to raise me up out of this wheelchair and I wanted to document every single thing about that. Now, I don't just want to give you behind the scenes content, fun adventures and inspiring content, but I do want to create a place that kind of serves as an archive, uh, not just for myself, but also for other people to follow. So this is exactly what I want to do in this video. I want to share what has been happening, what changes have I been experiencing in my body. And I want to start off by saying this, that these kind of videos I do not take lightly because I understand what kind of uh, hype it can create and if you know me I'm not about hype I'm not about clickbait I want to be real and authentic so I've been hanging on to creating this video for a very long time just because of the the sensitivity of the matter now do I believe the healing process has begun yes I do how does that look I'm not entirely sure um, if you ask me personally, I think it's going to be a miraculous work by the Holy Spirit and just one day in a wheelchair, the other day getting up out of the wheelchair. But there have been taking place changes in my body that I want to mention to you, that I want to talk about, that I want to document in this video. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, this video is not about hype. This video is about documenting the journey and maybe you know me personally. Um, and this is the first time that you are hearing this. I don't want you to be offended that I don't talk about this even to friends and family or anyone just because I don't want to create a false perception of premature hope. Um, I know that the Lord's going to heal me. How that is and when that is, I'm not entirely sure. But let's use this video as a documenting journey. So what has been happening so this has probably been going on for, I would say, the past few months that I have been getting increased sensation in my body below my level of injury. So I'm, I'm a T8 paraplegic, which is a right around from the chest downwards. And I've been getting increased sensation in certain parts of my lower extremities. Some of them are the bottom of my feet. There has been like a pins and needles feeling that has just been increasing. And also in my bum, so where I sit, I could feel more on my bum, like how long I've been sitting, I can feel that. Um, I can get an uncomfortable feeling, especially like when I'm on long flights. I've been noticing that it's almost like a burning sensation that I've been feeling. There's also been an increased sensation in my hamstrings that I've been feeling. Um, but it, it all has been, it's, it's, a, it's like pins and needles, but it's also a burning sensation. And which is very strange because I cannot feel pain, but it, it hurts still. So if I pinch myself, I still can't feel that. You know, if I take a, a, even a sharp object and I just prick myself, I still can't feel that. But there has been, it's almost like fire. It feels like I'm sitting on fire, like I'm sitting on coals. And, you know, I have to lift myself up, relieve some of the pressure. But this is definitely something that is new, that I started picking up lately. And if I say lately, the past few months. And I've just delayed to make this video because... I always want to see where is it going, like what, what is happening, like what can I feel, what can't I feel. And guys, you must understand this is something very difficult to put into words because it's not like how you would feel normally. It's a, it's a different kind of sensation. It's something I've never felt before. So it's difficult to, to explain to you what I'm feeling, exactly what this is. And to be honest, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is the beginning of the healing journey. As I just shared with you, my personal belief is it's going to be instant and it's going to be complete. 
Um, but what I'm experiencing right now, I cannot deny. I have to share it. I want to document it. So today is the 25th of March, 2024. January, February, yes, it is March 2024, and it is 20 to 3. Now, what, what I've also been experiencing, what I've been picking up, is when I wake up in the mornings, or I've even taken a nap, and the moment I, I wake up, there is like a, a, a sensation that I feel all over my legs, not just in my hamstrings and my bum and my feet, but all over my legs, I get that, that burning sensation. I feel it throughout my whole body. I feel it throughout my legs. And I've never had that before. When I just got injured, I've been in a wheelchair for 10 years. When I just got injured, it was, well, there was nothing. I couldn't feel anything. No pins and needles, no burning sensation, nothing. And, you know, a doctor would tell you that after two years, the progress stops. Now, I, I respect doctors, but I respect the Word of God even more, and I believe for my full healing. So, how exactly this is going to play out, I'm not sure. But what I can tell you is that there is feeling coming back into my legs, 100%. Like, I cannot deny this. There is feeling coming back into my legs. And I also want to say this. If you've been praying for me, thank you. Do not stop praying. Do not stop praying. I believe that the prayer of a righteous man avails much. And I believe that the Lord is hearing our prayers as a community. Just as I'm praying for you, thank you that you're also praying for me. And lastly, I want to add something as well that I've been really picking up. Now, to some people, this might seem a little bit too personal, but trust me, guys, I've, I've, I've been doing this whole wheelchair thing quite some time. I'm very desensitized to this, and I have to talk about this. But one of the biggest things that when you're in a wheelchair is bladder, bowel, and yeah, just bladder and bowel. It doesn't function as per normal. And the good thing is, what I've been experiencing, it's almost like, I could feel when I need to go to the bathroom. No longer do I just go on time, because that's usually how I would do it. I would know that I have to go to the, to the restroom every three or four hours, depending on how much fluid I take in. But nowadays, I've, I've been experiencing uh, an awareness of the pressure in my bladder. And also, you know, if I need to do number two or whatever sorry I told you this is gonna be a lot of detail but hey I need to document these kind of things so I it's kind of like I know when I need to go to the restroom and that has never been that way like it's really never been that way and that is awesome like honestly it's it's incredible to just you know have at least um, you know that kind of awareness it's not 100% healed. It's not 100% feeling. Like, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to create hype here. Like I said in the beginning, I, I don't want to create hype or clickbait or anything. I just want to document what I'm feeling or what I'm experiencing. Even though, praise God, I'm still glorifying the Lord for this. And I believe this is His hand upon me. Honestly, I do. Um... Something quite interesting, you know, we, I, in this ministry, I, well, in my ministry, not this specific YouTube channel, but in my ministry, I pray a lot for people for healing. Like, seriously, I pray a lot for them for healing. And it feels like the more I pray for people for healing, the more I preach healing, things change in my body. And, man, I... <laughs> I actually don't have words for it. I can't equate this in an easy way. But I think I'm going to end there. I just wanted to come and document some of the things that I've been feeling, the changes in my body, uh, feeling returning. There is still no movement, um, no visible movement, at least some muscle twitching, but there's no, you know, feet moving or legs moving yet. But the feeling is definitely increasing. And I want to give Jesus all the glory just for that. Even though it is very small, um, it's, it's definitely stirring my faith. But okay, guys, that's all for this documentation.
session. See you next time in another video. Hey guys, this is Olvain. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, this is channel. Oh, man. Hey guys, this is Olvain. Welcome back. Hey guys, this is Olvain Ace. No, 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 no. Lord help me. Take number 52. Well, if you're watching this, you know whose channel it is, so why even mention? I think people realize how long it takes to make a simple video. Like, how many times do you mispronounce even your own name? How many times do you fall over your words?